close your eyes, focus on your breath. Make the breath comfortable and think thoughts of goodwill. The Pali term for goodwill, metta, comes from the word mitta, which means friend. You're going to be a friend to the whole world, which means that you're going to look for happiness in ways that don't cause any harm or suffering to other people, other beings, and you wish them well. The world seems to be a very unfriendly place, but if you want the world to be friendly to you, you have to be a good friend to the world. And the Buddha gives the characteristics of a good friend, someone who acts in a way that is a good example to other people. Because you can't go around forcing other people to be good, and you can't force them to be the way you want them to be. You can do it a little bit, but after a while they rebel. But if you set a good example and inspire them, they'll follow along of their own free will if they see that it's good. So what are those characteristics? The first one is that you have conviction, that your actions really do matter, which means you're going to be very careful about what you do and you say and you think. Because you realize it's going to make the difference between whether you suffer and whether you have fine happiness. So be very careful about what you say, especially make sure you don't lie to other people. That's a very bad example. This gets into the next quality, which is that you're virtuous. You don't lie, you don't steal, you don't have illicit sex, you don't kill, you don't take in intoxicants. You benefit and the other people get a good, good example to see. One of the most depressing parts about being a human being is seeing so many bad examples out there. As the Buddha said, the people who follow the precepts are like, can be compared to the dirt under your fingernail, where the people who don't follow the precepts are like the, all, all the dirt in all the world. It's a huge number of people who don't do that. So when you do find someone who does follow the precepts, it's an inspiring example. You remind yourself that, yes, human race is a good thing. It does create good opportunities, it creates good people. So you can be one of those good people. That way you can be inspiring to others. Another quality the Buddha said is generosity. When you have more than enough, you're willing to share. This applies not only to material things, but also to your time, your knowledge, your energy, your forgiveness. Be willing to share these things. And again, people will see that human beings have some good to them. They're not just taking, 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 eating, eating, eating all the time. They're providing good things for other people as well. This is what makes the human race a good place to be. And then finally you have discernment. You see clearly what's skillful, what's not skillful, and how you can talk your mind into doing what's skillful and how you can talk it out of doing what's unskillful. That's where wisdom begins. So when you have these qualities, you're a good friend to the world. So when you think thoughts of, may I be happy, you can see that they're carried out through your actions. And when you think, may other beings be happy, it's carried out through your actions. May all beings be happy. There's nothing in your actions that goes against those sentiments, which means you can be truly honest in your goodwill. So try to be a good friend of the world, and you find the world is a much friendlier place.